Did you know that you're throwing your grenades wrong in critical ups? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the full potential of throwing your utility. Now, I'm not talking about using a lineup where you have to stand still or something. I'm talking about covering the maximum distance with your flashes or grenades when you want to. But before I show you all this technique, if you could consider liking and subscribing, it's free and it helps me out a lot. Now, have you ever been in a scenario where someone is very far away and you need to try and grenade them or throw a flash? Well, what if I told you that you could be throwing the flashes better? And it's not just by running and throwing the grenade, you actually need to jump when you throw it. Now, you might be thinking, Mantis, everyone already does this, what are you talking about? Well, before I explain it, let's have a little physics lesson in critical ops. If you stand still and throw a grenade, it's going to go a certain distance. Now if you're moving around, then the speed will be added onto the speed of the grenade when it leaves your hand, allowing it to travel a little bit farther before popping, which is why if you run forward and throw it, you can get some extra distance. But what if I told you that you can use your jump speed to your advantage? See, normally when people do a jump throw with their smoke and critical ops, they will usually wait until they're at the peak of the jump before they go and throw the grenade. But what if I told you that you actually should throw it basically the second that your feet leave the ground? When you jump in critical ops, your speed will be very high when you first leave the ground and you'll start to slow down every fraction of a second that you keep on going in the jump motion before you reach the peak of the jump. So if you get this timing down perfectly, you can jump and immediately throw the grenade a fraction of a second after you press the jump button and this is going to give you some crazy extra speed for your grenade throws. And if you're able to use the speed, it can really catch your opponents off guard because it's going to be harder for them to react to a grenade that's flying at them at super speed. And if you combine this with a running start, then well, I'll just let this clip show you how good it can be. So I'm going to be throwing three flashes. First, I will just stand still, and as you can see, it doesn't travel that far. Then if I aim at the same spot, but this time I run up and then throw it at the same spot as before, once again, the flash isn't going to go very far. It does go a little farther than the first flash, but it still doesn't go that far. Now you can see when I run and do the jump throw using this technique, I am easily able to make my flash go over the containers in mid and pop into B long. That is such an increase in the amount of distance I'm able to get with the flash. For those of you that want to find very good utility lineups, I want you guys to keep this technique in mind because it allows you to throw it from further back and you can also throw the flashes a lot further than you normally would be able to. For example, whenever I'm streaming Spec Ops Ring to Live, you've probably seen me use this flash in some of my streams and before that I even used this flash when I used to play competitively because it's just really good. From all the way back here in spawn, I'm able to throw a perfect pop flash for my team whenever they push the A site and it normally wouldn't be possible from back here. But because I have this extra room to play with in spawn, I'm able to watch the flank for my team and then flash for them all the way from spawn when they're ready to push and I don't even have to leave the protection of breach spawn to do so. Now you might be wondering, Mantis, why are you sharing this with us? I'm probably not going to throw grenades like this in critical ops because that just means I have to learn some new lineups and it's going to take a lot of time. Well, since I personally don't play competitively anymore, I'm slowly going to be releasing full guides for every single map in Critical Ops when it comes to grenades and I'll be covering everything from defending to pushing solo to even playing support if you want to try this out in your own scrims and ranked matches. And a lot of the lineups I use especially when playing support and trying to support your team from the back will involve this technique. So consider this video as a tutorial for how to throw grenades longer so that you can use this for more lineups in the future. If you all found this video to be useful, then please leave a like and sub, and since I'm going to be releasing full guides for every map, tell me which map you would like to see the most first in the comments, and I will get to work. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.